our channel my partner Adam and I and our dog Tyler have been traveling around Australia for the last two years part-time so to catch up on all our older episodes and new episodes in the future make sure you go down the bottom and like and subscribe Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam. And we are back at the Caravan Camping Super Show in Melbourne. So it's the last day here. It's a Sunday. The clouds are very to go. And they're about to come in. And uh, so we're going to get in first and try to get you guys some... Well, we're filming a bit of different stuff today, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, so we're going to kind of go around and see things are kind of unusual. You know, maybe some trailers and some vans and we'll kind of take it as it goes. Yeah. Have a bit of an easy day in that respect. But... Well, I'm trying to show some unusual things, things of points of difference. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start this day off and uh, see what we see. Just show you how huge this show is now. It's 30% bigger than what it was last year. And check it out. There is so many different things to have a look at. They've even got kids zone. So if you've got kids, they can have some fun while they're here. The adventure zone, which we'll go check out today. Um, but yeah, there is so much to see and do. When we walked into the show yesterday, the first thing we seen was this. It looked really cool. So I want to go in and show you. So this is the specs on it. And if you want to know more information, you can just uh, do the QR code. But um, there's quite a bit of information on there anyway. Start on the outside, check this out. There's storage on the front of it. So we've got some storage here. And then you've got some storage on this side. So you come up these stairs. So you've got this half, half door, which is hard, and then the rest is like this. And those stairs fold in so you have that hard surface. Yes. Uh, when you're, well, on the side of the van. Yep. And then we'll come inside. You got a decent sized fridge. You want to see if you can open with that in? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then um, check out how big this stove top is. And what I like about it is when you're cooking and if it gets a bit dirty, you just wipe it straight into the sink. Look at that. And then over here, a bit of storage and a chopping board. And then you've got this shelf that comes down so it folds away comes down it's even got a light underneath it so you got light and then over here you can sleep five <laughs> you can sleep five it's huge isn't it it's absolutely massive and then you got a fair bit of couch here that you can sit on or sofa and then it looks like it's got heating in the floor down here and a spot for your table to attach a lagoon yeah obviously you got all the frost ventilation here as well you can see yeah and you've got lights the down the back and then you've got the awning that wraps around. That's what, 270 degrees? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah, it goes all the way around. You can see it through there, all the way around. So they've got three different types, but very kind of similar looking. I'm sure there's difference in all of them. But um, this, I like this attachment that creates a whole nother room underneath the bed. Now you know we're always looking for something different at these shows and we found Hamish at his stand. What stand have we come to? Hey guys, you've come to the Sylvie stand here at the Melbourne Caravan Show and we've got a brand new product on the market here in Australia where we have storage solutions that have a rare earth magnet all incorporated into them. As a bonus to that, it means that when you're traveling, there is no movement, no rattling at all or break, which is why you're traveling. No, I think I absolutely love this idea because we're always in our van, being that it's so small, always looking for ideas to store stuff. Um, so with the magnets, like we could put that pretty much anywhere, couldn't we? Yeah, so these are made to be stuck onto any metal surface. We also sell strips that you can hang permanently under your cupboards, which means that it incorporates the space that's otherwise wasted inside your cupboards. Fantastic. And then inside the actual cabinetry as well, so you're saying that it's not going to rattle around because you can look put in the bottom of the cupboard the magnet yes. or the metal or whatever it is. Yeah, so yeah. what we have here, so everything that we have has a rare earth magnet incorporated into the base. Put it on, does not move around at all. On these mats, it's a reusable nanogel pad, 
layered with, me uh, with a slice of metal and then leather on top. All right, so we'll go have a look around your stand because it looks like there's a heap of interesting stuff. Now, if the guys on our channel want to order some of this, what do they order from? You go to everythingcaravans.com.au. A one thing I thought was fantastic. Now, we've got our friends that are traveling around Australia right now and they love their coffee, but they have an issue where they've got to put their coffee machine in and out the cupboard all the time. But you can resolve this problem by getting this system where you can literally leave your coffee machine out all the time and it's not going to move anywhere and including your cup also do have the the magnetic strips this is actually a large large size version and then you have a smaller size for example which is here and then you'll stick that to your surface say your overhead cabinetry and you can have your glasses or i mean in our case possibly even like your, your salt and pepper and your spices and they'll just hang underhead of your of your overhead cupboards So we're at the AGO stand at the moment and we've just seen, I have seen these online and I wish one of them looking in person because I thought they were so like design wise, aesthetically looking great. Um, but this is the AGIA Action, which we'll show you now. We'll show you the specs. I think it's 1400 Ks in weight all up. And it is quite compact. You have everything you need in there, obviously kitchen and a bed, bathroom as well, and you can do a walkthrough. And there's a QR code just there, you can scan that for more information. is a great use of space like you really thought about using all the space quite wisely there's not too many blank surfaces so you're using you know, you've got cabinetry you've got thin shelving lines along the sides and paneling you've got the overhead uh well overhead window which definitely opens up the space so you can definitely look at the stars or the forest or wherever you wherever you are yeah um and having the i think having the couch in that kind of the, the curved section also helps elevate the sense of space. Uh, in the corner, we'll do the bathroom. And then, as you can see, the shower, the toilet. It's quite roomy. And I have noticed they do have inbuilt. Now, how's this for storage in such a small? I can squeeze in here. And then you've got. See, this is kind of like a Euro, definitely a European design or influence um but you look at this look at that storage yeah that's great so you've got plenty of space for towels hand towels toilet paper toiletries so this is where like i'm saying they're just using all the space so wisely so there's so much storage in here as you can see fridge that's actually a very good generous size considering the size of the caravan yeah nice freezer. size freezer as well freezer is great um cabinetry Let's around. let's go through some of the storage. Show, open this one up. Look at all this. Look at that. And then spin around. The TV's here. And then, but this is what I love about some drawers. Some companies use their drawer space wisely. Some don't. This company has made a wise decision. This top one's thin for your cutlery drawer, so you're not wasting valuable space, as you can see. Like it's perfect. And then you've got further drawers below. And then in the kitchen space underneath the double burner. Look at that. Um, look at these fantastic pots, your crockery. Yeah. I'm guessing that might be your pantry, possibly. Up to you. And even above there. <laughs> look at that. You've got even all these little nooks. Like constant storage right here behind this TV panel. There's storage pockets. There's yeah, power points. There's, there's like a charging point as well here. Mm. How That's convenient! Cool. Right next to the couch, right next to your bed. Um, what else we've got? The blinds. Just using the space wisely. So you've got the, I think, the pull down blind. Yeah. Even on the overhead storage wise, the speakers are here, just to the left and to the right. You've got a lip, so you can even store things here. But it's just like it's a dream. Yeah. All these yeah. 
if we were looking for a smaller caravan, I think this would be definitely, definitely on our you know, checklist. Like, to yeah. really strongly consider. Like, it is a great use. It's like, you know that we like just parking. We like to be mindful of our parking space. So something like this for us would be suitable because it is quite compact. You do get everything you need. Your bathroom, your kitchen, your lounge, your seating area. And we love our views as well from the windows. So, I mean, please. Yeah, and one thing I do like about this is um, Adam and I, we do a lot of really short, quick trips. So if we didn't want to make the bed up, we don't have to. We could sleep on either side and would be fine. We'd just sleep on either side and um, we wouldn't even have to make the full bed up. If I'm guessing to. under, I'm assuming under either side is going to be storage too. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. Yeah. We were saying about the storage inside, Adam, and look, and we just, there is quite a bit of storage in here. You don't have to keep, you can put the wheel in your car. You don't have to have that in there. And then you got that storage underneath there. And then I, I like their built-in bins. Let's look at this. How can, like, it's just out of the way. Well, it's just one more thing that's not taking it's, any space on your kitchen space. Yeah. Under your kitchen cabinetry. And I like, is this a barn door? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is too. Like yeah. where they it can open top or the bottom or both. So you can have it open, the dog can roam free. No need for them to be right if we're going to run out or not. Yeah, and we have that a lot of that problem with Twyla, yeah. don't we? If you enjoyed that last van, we'll take you through the bigger version of this. We did show something similar or the same last year, if you missed that episode. So we'll take you through it now. Here's some specs on this one. And uh, if you want more information, here's a QR code. So if you're wanting a bit more space and you've got a little bit more money, <laughs> um, you get this. Like, Look at it. It's a very European, it's kind of like Scandinavian, Swedish, Swiss design style. It's just very open, very open, very spacious. It's got a different, it's different, definitely different aesthetic to like an Australian caravan, I feel. Yeah. Like it's general Australian kind of design. Um, so not a, not a, it's not an off-road type of van. I think this is more for maybe a caravan park so and that and, kind yeah. of that kind of camping possibly. Yeah. More leisurely camping, I guess you could say. We'll call that leisurely camping. Alright, yeah. well let's have a look around and uh, check this out. Well the first feature just behind you Adam I have to say is again this sunroof. To be able to look up at the stars at night. It, <laughs> how awesome is that? As you can see this is once again got plenty of storage overhead the full bank in the wall and then under the counter here as well under the under this cabinetry as well in the space like in the full hard fridge microwave kitchen this is a good use of space you still can you know prepare food on heating into we'll have things stored in here during the day i believe this will be a three burner it is a three burner in built this looks like maybe a chopping board that's a chopping board a nice sink but again, it gives you more space on the bench, doesn't it, if you need it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll spin around so you can show on the bathroom. Oh, it's a very, very similar design. <laughs> so, yes. It's giving me hotel vibes. options that if we decided to get something to tow behind the chimney what we could actually get now we've had these on our episodes a lot oh, before in the past haven't we Adam yeah yeah the the yes and um, yeah so we just found out pretty much any of the ones we can uh, we could tow but they would just uh, reduce the payload payload wasn't it um, so yeah, so the one we're in now, we actually quite like, and it could be an option. So let us know in your comments down below if we should get one so of these. We don't these. know if we, I mean, like I said, we don't know if we're going to do this or eventually we get ideas. Now yeah, we're just getting ideas. Mate, options. Yeah. So, so, so this has got the bed, which we'll show in a moment. Yeah, we'll show in a sec. But um, yeah, no, but we really like the layout of this one, and I think it would suit Adam and I to a T and to a. As you walk in, you've got your dinette, 
And um, this actually comes down to make another bed. Tyler could have her own bed to herself, Adam. <laughs> and <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. I was just thinking <laughs> I could actually work at this table. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and you could, thing, yeah, you, could, you could work um, on that. Yeah, yeah. So that's so good. Cool. And then uh, th then you got the full size, what would be like a double bed by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, and the best part is we can stand up. Adam could definitely stand up in here, but I can too, and I'm six foot tall. And even sitting down, you have the extra head height. Overhead when you're sitting down, so Dean's not hitting his head. We found a smaller size, a, maybe a bit too small with your head height. Yeah. Um, when you're sitting down, like now, as you can see, you've got no, obviously, plenty of clearance. Yeah. And then, um, so we'll show you this. It's got the microwave, so we didn't have, we wouldn't have to have the microwave. We don't really use ours anyway. You've got the fridge, um, and then you've got your sink and stove top so how many liters of water was that so it was a 50 liter fresh oh that's good that's good and you can get a gray tank if you like otherwise you don't have to either and then you've got so much storage just tucked away you got that underneath there oh there's like a garage and then you got this one here which you can see your tv on top of it's got the little ports here and um you'll obviously your switches here for your lights when you walk in a bit of more storage here for maybe your shoes um i, I, just, I just found the, I just found the shoes Oh, you found the shoe spot, have you? And then they do have plenty of like, back here, they've got these really deep storage areas. So they're utilizing all the space. Hey Adam, look, this is the size of the Jimny compared to this. <laughs> it's massive. Just told Adam to go stand next to the wheel of this car. Look, I mean, oh, this. What it's is like what a, is this? This is it's a like monster a, truck. That's a monster truck. Monster yeah. Truck. But look at the wheels on it. Unbelievable. Woo. And a big bike in the back. Um, Do you reckon you could truck. drive this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. It's these guys. Um, caravan, motorbike, and four wheel drive. Well, we thought we'd come in and look at one of these Lotus. This Lotus stands. That we can never afford. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, they've got some nice finishes. If you've got a lot of money, consider them like this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some, like, there's a thousand to choose from. I wouldn't know which one to go into. And I don't know. They cost thousands and thousands. Yeah, but they've probably got one of the best stands at the show. Well, but do. how no, awesome they is they it? Actually do. They, they do. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> they do. Let's go have a look so, back here. We've got bunks. Bunks. And then you've got your toilet, sink, and then through here will be a shower. Look at that. Gold. Exactly. Gold. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it's pretty. they're pretty cool. They do a good job and really nice finishes. And this one is 127K. 127K. Whew. Now, let's have a look at this bed. So the bed can lift up and then you've got little holes on each side where you can... Put your charges in. Important factors of life these days. Where can you charge your phone? Where can you charge your phone? <laughs> yeah. So we've just come into the off-grid uh, campground area, and um, it, we've got talks on here at the moment about batteries. You know, don't ask me about batteries. I wouldn't have a clue, but they're having a big chat about it. And then they have different vans and vehicles in this section showing their off-grid, um, you know, things that can go off-grid. So we'll have a look around and see what we can find. I want everyone to throw in questions because I'm sure you will have questions about how these... Now, this looks pretty cool. Oh, wow. This is all decked out. Look at this. And then, um, looks like it's got a roof top, tent on top, an awning. This looks bulletproof. <laughs> And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Adam's had enough. He's tired. Been looking around for a while and he's given up. Now he's found a seat. Are you going to go to sleep? It's called an adult. What is it? Adult snow. It's called a nowhere chair. A nowhere chair. Oh, yeah. It's actually a pretty good setup. One, Twyla's got her own bed there. That all folds down to nothing. Two... Is that the brand? Yes. Um, and two, you got a little wine cup holder here. 
So, and then you still got your drink holder, your can holder, if you're a beer drinker, or whatever, in a can, and a little pocket to put your keys in, and a fold-up table, it's pretty cool. I've just noticed they've got like a little basket under there for storage, so you can put stuff in there. And um, yeah, I really like this, it's really cute. Yes, this is definitely different. Got the bunks here. Two fans for each bunk. Got a big fridge, microwave. Check out this kitchen, awesome. And um, it's like the kids' room. It's got a full wardrobe, TV. Um, then you've got your shower in here. Wait, let me just, there we go. Shower, toilet. Look at Adam, should be out on the deck sunbaking. You can close the kids off into their own room, which they've got their entertainment unit here. And then you've got your own private space. And then this is how it looks on the outside from the back. Can you imagine putting a few deck chairs on there, Adam? All right, we've been on this amazing stand before. We're here with Jen today. How are you going, Jen? I'm great, how are you? Yeah, how's the show been going? Oh, fabulous. So yep. busy, so many people, it's great. All right, so what do you, to rehash, what do we actually sell on this stand? So we are Razor Kayaks, and we have inflatable and foldable kayaks. So I love the foldable. So it reminds good. me of origami, and I'll show you <laughs> some in a sec. I'll add a good hand down to it now. That it is so cute. But then you've got the blow-up ones as well. Absolutely, they're very, very popular. Yeah. Um, they're great on the water, they're really stable, people can easily get in them, great for recreation, great for touring, yeah. yeah and then one of the things we were, I was, I was really excited about, is you've got a new addition. What yes. is this? So this is exciting. We have an electric fin motor. So for those of you who like to take it easy on the water. Oh, that's me, Jen. That's definitely me. <laughs> and great if you're, you know, use all your energy paddling one way and then you need some help getting back. back. This just slips into the base of your kayak, gives you that little bit of an extra boost and you can enjoy all the scenery on the way home. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and how long would something like that last, roughly? It's about four and a half to five hours worth yeah. of charge, and then you can just recharge the battery at your power point. Oh, that's plenty of time, that's mm. awesome. And then also, tell us about a couple of more accessories. So this one's very popular. It's our fishing rod holder kit. So this section actually detaches from this one and you can put an adhesive there, stick it to the base of the kayak and then fish away. Take that bit off when you want to dismantle your kayak, rolling it down, fitting it into its nice snug backpack. And what's great is they're so light. So that's why people, you know, really enjoy these kayaks because they're not trying to lug them on their roof racks anymore. You've got a small backpack, you can carry it down to your water source. Oh, that's awesome. And so what three do you have here? What are the differences between these Okay, three? so we've got four designs. This is our Ultra Series. There's a two-seater, there's a, a single-seater sitting over there. And this is our High Pressure Series. So the difference is in the side tube, you've got a tech weave which keeps these sides together, gives it that shape, is it quite efficient in the water, less drag so you're going to be able to move through a bit faster. These ones have a little bit more surface value so they're slightly more stable. These are what we consider our recreation kayaks and these are more of our touring kayaks. These are a bit longer, have a bit more storage space, say you want to fit a tent in there, say an extra esky, maybe your dog. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, That's we like that on our channel. <laughs> definitely, definitely dog friendly. We love all that. Absolutely. Now, I'd love to see one of these all packed up in a bag. Can I? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Our two recreation sort of style ones fit into a bag only this big. So you've got backpack straps, depending on how big, but you've got to fit your paddles and your pump in there at the same time. Our bigger versions and slightly longer kayaks fit into this bag, and you'll see on the reverse, actually got some wheels on the bottom just to help you go where you need to go. Can you come down here? I don't check these wheels out. Look at that. They're, they look a bit four wheel drivey. Look at these. <laughs> Don't get over any terrain. So these are fantastic. Now, I would love to see. I'm, I'm calling it, what, what, actually, what do you call it properly? Because then I'll get it. It's a folding kayak. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, it is like a kayak. Yeah, exactly. So let's go check out how it folds down and how it looks when it's all packed up. 
All right, so this is one of the, you got two types? Absolutely. So you can see this is a more open design and it folds down into just this little beauty. Look at that. So light, so easy. All you got to do is carry that down to the water and unfold it, clip it together and you're ready to go. No then, pumps required. No pumps, How nothing. awesome is this? Easy. And then we've got this version over here, which is a bit more closed in. A little bit longer time to set up, a little bit yep. heavier, but still this is a design that's really popular for a lot of kayakers. Oh, this has been great. Thanks for your time, Jen. That was awesome. So if these guys want to order something, where can they get their hands on these items? We're all online. We ship free anywhere in Australia. Just head to razorkayaks.com.au. And Adam will drop it down there so you can... I will, guys. It'll be somewhere yeah. down there on the screen. <laughs> great. Thanks, Jen. Thank Thanks, you. Jen. That's it for another week, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you are enjoying our channel, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Just press that button, and that way you'll be notified when our episodes are released up next. And if you've been following us for a while, or even if you're new, join our Patreon. Our Patreon channel is great to find out what we're getting up to before anyone else. We share some videos, photos, and we let you know what we're doing in real time. So guys, join now, Patreon, and we will see you next Sunday at 5pm. See, see you guys. guys.